It's heating up in the British Parliament. Prime Minister Boris Johnson is leaving no stone unturned to get his Brexit deal passed. According to reports, he's vowing to can the Brexit bill if MPs don't approve its three-day timetable today. Johnson told MPs if the bill and timeline are rejected and the EU approves a delay to the 31st of October, he would instead push for a general election. Fighting words, of course, or bail threats from the Prime Minister there. Let's get more from Ali Barrett, who's tracking this story for us. So, Ali, first explain what the two votes actually mean. Right, so this is the first stage of uh, trying to get legislation through the uh, Houses of Parliament. And the bill was introduced last night. The legislation that Boris Johnson needs to get passed to get his Brexit deal uh, done and dusted. Now we're at the stage where MPs have to vote really in principle on the broad shape of the legislation that they're being asked to consider. If they vote in favour, then the legislation continues through the House of Commons. If they don't, then it falls down at the very first hurdle. The second hurdle, though, if that first vote goes in favour of Boris Johnson, is on the so-called programme motion, and that is MPs being asked to consider whether they approve of the parliamentary timetable that Boris Johnson is proposing, which is just three days in the House of Commons for an incredibly complex piece of legislation. If MPs vote against that programme motion, again, the legislation falls flat on its face. So it really is crucial for Boris Johnson. He wants to get this legislation through the House of uh, both Houses uh, of Parliament by early next week. And if he is to do that and try and stick to his October the 31st uh, Brexit deadline date, then he needs to win both of these votes today. They really are crucial and it really is uh, not exaggerating to say that this is one of the most important days in Brexit so far. Yeah, so is Boris Johnson likely to win and what happens if he doesn't? Well, it, it looks like the numbers are probably in his favour on the first vote, so he will be pleased about that, but it does look like it's going to be very close indeed. He can't uh, be taking it for granted. The second vote looks tougher because many MPs are really angry about the speed with which they're being asked to scrutinise this bill. Um, so the second vote potentially more difficult for Boris Johnson, um, but if he wins that, then the next stage uh, of all of this would be for the legislation to go into what's called the committee stage, and that's potentially very uh, dangerous for Boris Johnson as well, because that's when MPs can add proposed amendments or changes to the legislation, and some of those amendments, uh, changes that MPs on the opposition side want to add include things like a second Brexit referendum, uh, or even adding a customs union uh, with Europe, which the government says it is very much uh, dead set against. So all, all sorts of potential pitfalls out there over the next 24 hours or so for Boris Johnson. Yeah, so what does the EU think of all of this? I mean, they have gone back and forth with two British Prime Ministers on Brexit. Well, the first thing I think to say is that the European Union is thoroughly frustrated with this whole process. It is also very clear that the EU wants this deal passed by the UK's House of Commons. So uh, despite the fact that over the weekend Boris Johnson was mandated to uh, write to the European Union and ask for a delay to the Brexit process beyond October the 31st to avoid a no deal, that extension, that delay has not yet been granted by the EU because they want to see how events play out uh, in the House of Commons over the next couple of days. If Boris Johnson loses these votes today, then the European Union is probably minded to grant some kind of extension or delay to the Brexit process. Boris Johnson is making it very clear that if he loses today, he will scrap this legislation uh, and push for uh, an election. Uh, exactly how he gets to that point, though, is not entirely clear because it would be up to the European Union to decide how long a delay to give him. So will they give him a short delay on the basis that he has to try and get this legislation through the House of Commons at a second attempt, or will they give him a long delay uh, and allow some kind of uh, electoral event like a general election to take place? Boris Johnson wants an election. The opposition Labour Party say they'll give him one if no deal Brexit uh, can be avoided. So uh, again, an election looks like it is coming uh, pretty fast down the track, Salos. All right, we're going to leave it right there. That's our reporter, Ollie Barrett.